Hey guys, so uh, I've had the uh, HEC 1A9 uh, for a couple of uh, weeks now and uh, you know, like a lot of people I was expecting to hate the device, think it was a downgrade from the M9 uh, but I have to say I'm quite pleasantly surprised actually with the overall package of the HEC 1A9 I definitely think there's some reasons to consider it over the uh, iPhone 6S uh, where everyone says, you know, HTC copied the uh, iPhone 6S, but generally I think that HTC built a better uh, actual iPhone here than uh, Apple themselves, really. Uh, if you obviously take, uh, you ignore the the uh, processor, which isn't quite obviously up there with the iPhone, uh, you get some uh, significant advantages. I found the actual battery life is pretty fantastic on the uh, HTC uh, One A9 for saying that it's such a small capacity, uh, like 2000 mAh. That's probably a combination of optimization, you know, Android Marshmallow out of the box, uh, you know, your doze and uh, the AMOLED display, as well as the Snapdragon 617, very efficient. Uh, whereas the opposite can be said for the iPhone 6S, which I'm struggling to get a day out of. Uh, you also get the quick charge 3.0 capability, which I think is the latest uh, quick charge uh, standard. So, uh, you know, you're going to be charging very fast on the uh, HC1 A9. Uh, the other thing which I really like about the device is the the uh, general size of the uh, screen here like when you are like viewing content uh, the 5 inch form factor I think is definitely you know more enjoyable uh, which uh, you are obviously constrained here on the iPhone to 4.7 inches which affects your gaming it affects your web browsing you know it affects the day to day use of the device and some people will be saying yes you know where uh, you can use the iPhone 6s uh, in one hand easier but look I can use this in one hand uh, very easy I don't have big hands and you know look at that amount of content you get on the uh, the uh, HTC One A9 here it's just unparalleled really so I definitely think you know the actual day to day viewing experience is much superior on the A9 uh, and I'm not trying to be biased here I honestly think this is the case you know I do like my Android uh, but you know I can definitely call a spade a spade here you can see the actual day to day performance on both of them very similar uh, really you know not a, a huge difference in uh, any respect obviously we are running as I said Android Marshmallow out of the box uh, but it's the sense really which is a very well optimized actual skin uh, you know there are some uh, skins out there like uh, Huawei's EMUI uh, which is not the best optimized and bogs down devices so you also get a lot of freedom on the A9 compared to the iPhone uh, you know you can put on different uh, themes uh, you can put on different widgets you can you know do whatever you want swap out the keyboard swap out anything uh, whereas you're very constrained on the iPhone in comparison it feels like a much more boring experience uh, but that's just my opinion obviously the iPhone does come with some nice things like uh, you know your force touch etc but from what I've been reading you know a lot of developers are actually getting on board with this at the moment and many of them think it's a gimmick uh, so you know you're paying quite a lot to, for this particular feature when it's not really going to be uh, uh, you know groundbreaking as Apple intended whereas I think that the uh, HC1 A9 is coming with uh, some uh, pretty nice stuff uh, like uh, as I said the AMOLED uh, display uh, which uh, gives you much superior viewing angles uh, I think the fingerprint sensor is also quite nice as well you know it's uh, obviously sacrificing your front facing speakers which is a bit of a shame but uh, when you're using you know your PayPal as well as uh, other things which require password you just put your hand over that and jobs are good in uh, so you know I think props should be had here to HTC for building a very nice uh, phone here alternative to the iPhone and in, in many respects like a better iPhone here and it's all for half the price really you know it's, an, it's quite an expensive device for the spec but when you consider, you know, the uh, iPhone's price, it's uh, a walk in the park, really. 
Uh, yes, there are still some uh, you know improvements that could be made to the camera. Uh, it's better than the M9s, but it still could be better, you know, competing with the flagships a bit more. But I think that that's what we'll see probably for the, the you know the M10 uh, because that is you know what uh, HTC do need to improve on. Uh, so I definitely think you know the A9 has taken me by surprise, you know, and, and uh, been a lot better than. What I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a trash phone, uh, but you know it's uh, certainly something worth considering here, particularly if you're looking for a smaller device, very premium build quality, uh, and the trusted brand as well, HTC. Uh, so yeah, you know, just uh, my thoughts in regards to the uh, HTC One A9 after owning it for a couple of weeks here. Uh, you know, uh, I think it's definitely one that you shouldn't, uh, you know, rule out. Feel it in the phone shop, see how it feels. Uh, but yeah, just a quick little video here. Hope you uh, found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.